So, in Fortnite Season 5, we have seen multiple collabs so far, and there are supposedly more to be coming later on. But as of right now, we've only seen Kratos from God of War, the widely known Master Chief from the Halo franchise, and Daryl Michonne from The Walking Dead. Epic Games has been touting these collaborations to be an actual part of the lore of Fortnite, stating that these are realities collapsing in an effort to keep the community quiet since most people have hated the collabs. That's what I think at least. But what if I told you that all of these collaborations could be a hint to the future of what is to come for Fortnite as a game, and that these collaborations could become more than just putting a skin in the item shop? Fortnite has definitely gotten very, very comfortable with shoving collabs down the throats of their players, so it's understandable why so many people have hated on them so much because of it. Now, the collabs in Fortnite really started back in Season X when random areas on the map called Rift Zones would suddenly warp into a completely new POI or revert back to an old one like Greasy Grove and Moisey Meyer, for example. But it's no coincidence that I bring up Season X because the topic of this video is semi-centered around the mechs and their possible return, but I'll talk about that in a second. The mechs in Fortnite Season X were arguably the most overpowered thing ever added to Fortnite with the Infinity Blade being a close second. The mechs were a 1-2 person, drivable, rocket shooting, stomping, machine gun blazing vehicle that was nearly impossible to counter, which caused a lot of people, especially pro players, to become very angry with them and even some ending up in quitting the game, including myself. But thankfully, the mechs went along with the old map and being sucked into the black hole at the chapter ending event which happened back in October of 2019. But while we're on the topic of events, if you didn't know, the chapter 2 season 4 ending event consisted of Galactus from the Marvel Universe attempting to consume the Zero Point while the Avengers, a season based collab, tried to stop him and while it was a hectic event, in the end, the Avengers were successful in defeating Galactus. Prior to this event though, the chief creative officer at Epic Games, Donald Mustard, known for giving the community interesting clues about upcoming events and lore, gave us some interesting insight to what the future of Fortnite will be like, saying that the Galactus event would, in quote, change the future of Fortnite, which is a quote directly from Donald Mustard himself. Now I don't know about you guys, but it's been multiple weeks since the release of Season 5, and I haven't seen anything that has necessarily changed Fortnite drastically in the way that he's saying it has. Sure, the old POIs mixing, mixing with new ones is a cool and interesting way to bring back players that have quit the game, but I wouldn't say that's 100% game changing. But what is really interesting is the thing that he says after this, which is that Donald Mustard was asked about getting Fortnite into the Smash Bros. universe, he said that he couldn't comment on it. But it doesn't stop there. When the CEO of Fortnite was asked if he viewed Fortnite as a game or a platform, he responded by saying, Fortnite is a game, but please ask that question again in 12 months. That's coming directly from the CEO, Tim Sweeney of Fortnite. And that 12 months is just about up, but now here is where things get absolutely crazy. If you don't know what a gaming platform is, it's basically just a thing that you would use to play games on, like a PlayStation or Xbox. Now you're probably wondering, how is Fortnite going to become a gaming platform? Well, to be completely honest, I have no clue. In Fortnite, we've already seen the addition of Party Royale, which is an area where people can watch one-time live concerts and even movies sometimes. But it's safe to say that people hated the movies and shows that were shown in Risky Reels and Party Royale, so we're probably not going to see much more of them because that was an absolute failure. The best example that I can give you guys for what the game might be looking like as a platform is the game Roblox. In Roblox, there's thousands, maybe even millions of different minigames that you can play, with the game not necessarily having a main game or point. I could see Fortnite implementing modding to give players the opportunity to make their own minigames in creative, similar to Roblox, as modding support was actually confirmed to be coming to Fortnite later in 2021 at some point, kinda like Minecraft. In terms of the Smash Bros thing mentioned earlier, I just think that Epic Games wants there to be a variety of characters across multiple games just like Smash Bros. But as I mentioned earlier, we've already seen the addition of characters from other games like Kratos and Master Chief, but what if I told you that I found evidence that almost confirms that the character D.Va from Overwatch could be coming into the game with her own skin, as well as being able to drive her mech in games similar to the Brutes from Season X. But Pro Zero, it's actually laughable that you think they would add back anything as bad as the Brute, everybody hated it! 
Well, I simply disagree. The mechs were probably one of the smartest marketing moves I've ever seen in gaming. It got tons of people talking about the game, which in turn brought more hype and controversy around the game, similar to the black hole, and it's really just as simple as that. The thing that is being built in Hunter's Haven looks extremely similar to D.Va's mech, and as of right now, it looks like it's still being constructed. So I'd expect that if, it, if and when she does come to the game, then this project and whoever built it will be finished with it and we'll all be left with a diva mech to hype us up for her arrival into the world of Fortnite. You could make the claim that Overwatch is a bit similar to the Smash Bros. universe, seeing as there are a variety of characters and you can pick one that has special abilities and perks to go out and fight others on the battlefield in both games. With the only difference being that all the characters on in Overwatch are original, meaning that they are only seen in Overwatch itself. Now I don't know if anything that I just said made any sense, but in the long and short of it all, Fortnite is going to change big time. And not only will it affect itself, but it will change all of gaming even more than it already has. Yo, what's up guys? If you did enjoy today's video, it would be greatly appreciated if you did go down below and click that like button for me. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And according to YouTube, only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed to my channel. So be sure to go down below and subscribe if you want to. You can always change your mind later on and it really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.